welcome to the last part of this video and i'm really happy to have you back here for this style you need to put the hair in a low bun so we are starting with the back we are going to work in sections to make it easier first of all i'm putting the front section in place so that it won't get in the way next i'm going to brush the back and make sure that everything is neat and flat so here i'm using a thread you can use your rubber band you can use your shoelace whatever you want whatever you have So the low part of the hair is in place. Next, I'm coming over to the front. So I'm just going to take a part of the hair in front and brushing it very well because you want the hair to lay very flat. You don't want it puffy. So as you can see, that side of the hair is very flat now. I'm putting it together with the rest of the bun. Now I'm doing the same thing to the other side of the hair. And all we have left is the four sections in front. And if you're wondering why my hair is in sections, please just go back and watch the first and second part of this video. Here I'm just making sure that my pattern is neat. That is why I'm using my rat tail comb to part the hair again. So it's time to work on the front hair. I'm just going to twist the hair. I'm making very loose twists here because I don't really need the twist. The first C natural hair is very versatile. You can do whatever you want with it. You can style it however you want and still look elegant and stylish. Just experiment with different styles, try out different things, and you get what you want. So it's time to arrange the twist. I'll just be playing around with the twist until I'm able to get what I want.
so that is it and i must say that this brand is beautiful i love this hairstyle If you are here to watch the part 1 and part 2 of this video, please go over to my channel and check them out. Here yeah, I was trying to see if I can wrap my hair. It didn't work because of my length. So this is the final look. It's beautiful. So it's time for the next style. I'll quickly take this off. Just the front. Because we are still going to use the low bun and the low puff. here we are done so I've been thinking of what to do with this again so I'm going to be braiding the middle if you know how to braid if you know how to do flat twist anything and if you're not good at it please you can check one of my videos I did an afro hairstyle I used the thread and needle method to do my flat twist and it came out very beautiful so if you don't know how to uh, do cornrows like this you can try that method this was not easy eh? hey my hand was spinning me but i had to finish it i had to do it and i love the outcome you can use gold or silver accessories on the breads and it will come out looking elegant this was so beautiful so if you're new to my channel please remember to click on the subscribe button if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel and please do not forget to click on the like button and leave your comments in the comment section let me get to know you and let me know what you think about the hairstyle remember you don't have to be perfect you start from somewhere until you get perfect so do not say oh because i don't know how to braid i don't know how to do corn rolls i can't style my hair no you try first so here i'm done and i'm pinning it down i'm pinning it together with the puff so this is it the hair was so simple you can wait to work you can wait to school you can wear it to other events it's quite nice so thank you guys for watching my videos please do well to click on the like button subscribe if you're yet to do so see